Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you.
Don't need it now. Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> mm. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. Seriously? Well, I can attempt to dictate a course of action. Please do not kill somebody for theft. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. 
you. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Same old song, huh? You know how this works. Just make up your mind. I don't need to tell you this, but we don't need to kill him. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. And we got what we wanted. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It's not like you were working to make anything better for anyone other than yourself. But this would be a good thing to reflect on in your newfound copious free time. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time hey, to um, let's when talk you're not busy, the ship. let's chat. Done with you. <coughs> Bet you got some shin splints from that. time. He's got its eyes on Saburo Okadipo. The guy's trouble for the status quo. If you know that. Keep your nose clean. Your Last thing I want is a charge of I guess I'll tackle that win. <laughs> 
She knows she has to ask. Trust me, it's all I ever think about. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Way easier than retrieving an artifact from a mine that's about to get raided by pirates. But I feel like we made more friends the other way. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. Chat. If you're I ever thinking to yourself, 
send you our resumes. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. We are growing impatient. Cease your attempts to stall for time. But you speak our language. We know everything about you. That is why your kind cannot have the artifact. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal rate. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance.
I love breathing and exploring the galaxy. It's hard work. Trust me. I know. Stop my You have time, of course. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? No. Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Corps. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with the parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent, worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. There's something I need to talk to you about. Hey. Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir here. went we to live on the eye full time. Hmm? Yes? I'm listening. This is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Hello. 